What's up everybody? Today we're going to be unboxing the commuter case from Otterbox for the S22 Ultra. Let's check it out. Okay, so jumping into this thing really quickly. I've been a big fan of the commuter cases pretty much with any phone I ever get. I typically always have one of these. What I like about the commuter cases is they're in between the Defender Pro and the Symmetry case and they offer a little bit more protection. They have a couple little features I like that we'll talk about in a minute, but um, let's start with the packaging. All their current series of cases come packaged almost exactly the same. We got some different stickers here and there. 3X drop tested we're accustomed to. Uh, the antimicrobial shield and it's made with 35% recycled material. Pretty cool. It talks about the 3X military testing, wireless charging support, pocket friendly, dual layer protection. This is a two part case and an easy grip, the sure grip as they call it. Outside of that, not really much of anything new to see here. So we're gonna dive right into it. The design for Samsung literature, regulatory information, nothing really pertinent about the case itself. And then you have the case. So taking a look at it right away, it's got that same very boxy design as does the phone. The back has the two pieces of plastic that stick through from the inner lining out to the back of the case. What I think those are designed to do is uh, make it so it doesn't wobble and also give you a little grip and help it from coming out of your pocket. Um, because this is smooth, it, if it was only made out of this material, the phone might be more likely to slip out of your pocket and fall on the ground. And I believe these are to give you some traction against the material in your pockets. At least that's what I've noticed with all of the commuter cases I've used. Let's break it down a little bit here. So you have the inner lining. It's flexible, rubber, thick, going to absorb most of the shock from an impact and give you a significant amount of protection. You have the flap on the bottom for the charging port and your cutout. I think what these are for, this cutout, is to help center the material, or keep it centered in here so you don't get any movement or play when the case is all put together with your phone in it. I'm not 100% sure of that though. It all slaps together pretty easily though. Looks like they made a slight design change down here. I wonder if that's to accommodate a microphone or something. You can see the, you can see the flap is a little bit different. Opens pretty much the same though. Let's try it on. So I like to take it apart, put the inner rubber lining on first, make sure everything's all lined up, looks good. And then just slip it into the outer part. And that goes together super quick. Looks good. Gives you a little bit of a lip on both sides. You can still reach the waterfall portions of the screen though. And the edges, top and bottom, are a little bit more raised up to give you that protection for when you lay it down. The optics on the back have plenty of protection. Nothing crazy to see there. It will definitely protect your phone should you put it on a table. No wobble whatsoever. The bottom. Now I was worried about this. I wonder how hard it's gonna to be to get this out of there. Okay. Doesn't look too bad. Let's try the one hand approach here. Not a problem. What also helps is that the material at the bottom is a little bit flexible. So when you push your finger in there, it gives a little bit so you can get at it. I have very short fingernails, but someone that has longer fingernails will have no problem. Opening the port on the bottom. Not too terrible, I'd still probably cut that off. And it does look like that hole is indeed to accommodate the mic there. Wow, the clickiness is not fantastic. You can definitely get it, as you can hear, no problem. But um, it does not feel premium. But what might be good about those is if you're prone to raising your volume in your pocket or you don't want it to be easily hit, or you're worried about powering your phone on accidentally or powering it off accidentally, it might help out there. But I definitely notice I have to put a little bit more effort into pushing it. Not a deal breaker by any stretch of the imagination, but uh, getting to those is a little bit more difficult. Not something I'd be too worried about. Overall, this is a very nice case. Otterbox is really rounded off the edges and um, 
perfected the art of making strong cases with the foam with the case on 84.19 millimeters so I've actually two different measurements I'm going to do here so you can see there's a, the raised lip up top at the top you're looking at just over 14 millimeters on the sides 12.2 roughly not a big change over the actual size of the phone itself the weight of the phone with the case 283 grams using the phone with the case on is not a problem you can get to the edges enough to swipe back and forth swiping down from the top is a breeze swiping up from the bottom is not a problem either so the case does not seem to get in the way whatsoever they've done a really nice job of making sure the case doesn't get in the way of the use of the phone the edges are beveled enough away from the screen so that you can get in there and swipe from the sides comfortably Thank you so much for checking out this video with me today. I appreciate it. If you're into the out-of-box cases or you have a different kind of case you use for your S22 Ultra, let me know in the comments below. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. If not, the thumbs down works as well. And as always, I appreciate the subscription. Peace.